clear. Like, oh, circle. you discovered who I, you I were. Did. I, I did. mean, and you know, um, Kristen, now I've learned through walking through various um, difficult situations mm -hmm. that. Um, the reason why I was so insecure about myself was because I was trying to, to be someone else, right. to please someone else, right. and Absolutely. I could never tap into me, right. and the me that was way down on the inside of me was screaming like I want to express myself I right. want to be who God has called me to be you know and everybody has that everybody has that voice and everybody wants to express themselves because God gave all of us different talents different mm -hmm. uniqueness we have so much on the inside of us mm -hmm. but if we can't tap it tap into that it hinders us and there are so many young girls out there now that are truly Truly trying to find themselves, but they are trying right. to find them, find themselves in the wrong way. They are, and they don't realize that the scripture says, "For we have this treasure in earthen vessels," oh my God. and yes. they don't realize there is a treasure inside yes, of us. Yes, yes, yes. And for me, God showed me that the way that I was to express it was mm -hmm. through my physical appearance. My. I cut all my hair off. Come on, <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> I did. I cut it all off. Um, uh, with the helping of actually of our hairstylist right, right. Uh, with her mm -hmm. giving me um, I would say the comfort right. that it would look that okay would exactly. <laughs> and I did it knowing I was getting ready to do this pageant mm -hmm. knowing that I'd be the only person wow. with no hair wow. that I'd probably be one of the only African-Americans there right, right. but knowing that the reason for it was because my assignment mm -hmm. is to help other women become themselves, yes. give themselves permission to yes. be themselves. Yes. And God showed me, he showed it through, to me through the styling that as I'm speaking with someone, I'm mm -hmm. listening to them mm -hmm. and I'm asking them, what do you want to do? And what do you love about yourself? And as they, as they tell me that, when I get ready to style them, I don't style them based on where they are today, but based on how they're speaking about themselves, where they want to be. Right. And I style their right. Shelby. Oh my God. Yes, because I got to tell you right now, Kristen, I am a uh, testimony, a testament of what you just said. <laughs> because, I mean, a few weeks ago, it, I wasn't at this place. I mean, I wasn't comfortable in a lot of different styles, but you really made me feel comfortable mm -hmm. and you tapped into my spirit mm -hmm. and where I'm going, uh -huh. you're already there. Mm -hmm. So you place, mm -hmm. you know, you help, if, I guess help um, women, men, whoever, mm -hmm. just individuals mm -hmm. get to where they're trying to go right. physically. Right, you know? because, and, and what I found, and even found it with myself, is that mm -hmm. God gave me a particular sight. He gave me a sight not just to see a, a, an outfit or a mm -hmm. look, mm -hmm. but that you have to see where you're going. Right. Sometimes it helps to see that on the oh, outside right. first. Right, right. To and see into the future. Yes, and it's okay to be Christian women and men and feel good about yourself, look good, express yourself, and just be confident in who God has called you to be. That's what this show is all about. Mm -hmm. This show is about allowing um, individuals and people of God to express themselves and, and to encourage others to walk out your destiny. You know, use the gifts and talents mm -hmm. that God has mm -hmm. placed on the inside of you to, 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 to really um, fulfill right. the void right. that's right. really on the inside of us. Right. Because this is what makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. This is what I love to do. This is what you love to do. You love to style. That's why we're here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely love to style and love to style for other people. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's funny. I'll, I'll wake up in one morning and just be like, I don't feel like right. being fashionable and just throw something yeah. on. And I didn't realize that sometimes what I would throw on is someone else's dress up. Oh my goodness. And yes. so the more I started to see that and mm -hmm. see that what was different about my aesthetic, my mm -hmm. style aesthetic, mm -hmm the more I begin to realize just how much of a gift it was and how much I had to protect it. Oh my God. And when you begin to discover who you are, mm. you see just how much you need to protect yes. the gift. Yes. Because if you don't protect it, mm -hmm. you can't give it to anyone else. Oh my God. And you know what? That, you, it reminds me of in Genesis, um, when God told Adam and Eve, look, 
I've given you all of this mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I place you here in the garden. You are to protect it and right. keep it. Right. You're supposed to guard it because I am giving you, I'm placing you here and here you have everything that you need. You don't have to go outside for anything. All I need you to do is protect it, right. keep it. Do not allow the enemy to come in and take it or distort it or whatever. But we have gotten so off course with that yeah. because I think it's uh, because of our faith levels mm -hmm, and because mm -hmm. of the things that we've been through mm -hmm. that we allow ourselves to be talked out of our gifts. We do. Oh my God. We do. I mean, you know, it's just like we don't ex esteem mm -hmm. what God has placed on the inside mm -hmm. of us um, right. to a higher level mm -hmm. than we esteem our job, going on our job right. or, or anything else that we can tangibly see. Right. But if you work the gifts, they'll start manifesting themselves and you'll start seeing. Yes, you'll really start does. seeing them all, all around you, you it know, because really now look, I'm a product of what was on the inside mm -hmm. of you years ago mm -hmm. because you style and you, you know, and you do it with such grace and such love because of the love of God that's on the inside of you. And I appreciate that because sometimes, you know, when you are, you're walking into unfamiliar territory, mm -hmm you don't feel confident right but you really make us feel very confident right. and don't make me feel like oh well, you don't know what you're doing take that off and then, no but you do it with such love and, and you can tell that and 